gives are often used to create animations in loading screens, but there is a problem in TKInter there isn't a simple way to play them and also perform other tasks with your Python code at the same time, like for example loading something in the background. To be honest, there is actually a fairly simple way to do that using multi-threading and that's what you're gonna learn in this video. By the way, before you get started, if you're here, I'm sure you want to become a programmer and yes, here on YouTube you can learn a lot, but one of the best ways to actually improve, especially if you want to turn this into a career, is to take some courses made by experts in the field. Usually these courses are structured in a way that makes it easier for you to learn properly and I've selected for you some of the best courses and learning platforms. You'll find the links in the description down below and by using those links, you're gonna help this channel as well. So, first of all, we need to import TK into STK. Then I'm going to import time and threading. And then from pill, I'm going to import image, image TK, like that. If you don't have pill installed, this is just a library for the images, so you can install it by doing something like pip install pillow or pip3 install pillow. Alright? So in this video, as usual, I'm gonna use a class structure. If you don't know what a class is and how to use it, then I highly recommend you go and watch my series on classes to have a better understanding of this video, but also have a better understanding of object-oriented programming as well. So you'll find the link in the description box down below. So first of all, let's start with class my app. I'm gonna inherit from frame like that. Then the init self root and then I'm gonna call super as I said if you don't know what I'm doing I really recommend you go and watch my series on classes then root background white like that and then down here self dot main frame equal to self this is not really needed but it's just to make things easy to to understand because otherwise there would be like self pack etc etc and it doesn't make sense because it looks like an instance method of the class so if you use main frame instead of self is better all right so i'm gonna do something like this and fill tk both expand true main frame column configure zero weight one and then row configure zero weight one all right, and now we can add the code needed to actually run the application. So down here, we can actually add root tk tk like that, then root title. I'm gonna call it just my app root geometry 300 by 400. I don't want this to be resizable, so I'm just going to do something like with false and height false and of course i need to create an instance of my app so my app instance and i'm going to do something like my app root like that and then we need to call the main loop to actually see something on the screen okay so if we run that we can see a little application all right perfect so now I'm going to copy and paste three methods that are needed to run the GIF because we are actually going to use a GIF as the loading screen, all right? And I have it here, as you can see, a loading GIF, all right? So I'm just going to copy and paste them and I've actually explained them in another video. So go and watch that to learn more and also to actually see the code of each method, all right? So okay so here i have my methods okay as i said to see the code go and watch the other video i'll leave the link in the description box down below and in the cards up above so that you can actually understand how that works right so let's now create a method that will load all the initial widgets okay so basically the first thing that user sees when they open the application by the way if you want to support the channel there are different ways to do that you can make a one-off donation, become a member of my Patreon, or even use the affiliate links below to get amazing things like professional courses to up your game. You'll find everything in the description down below, and thank you so, so much for the support. So, def create. Of course, I'm keeping everything really, really simple in this video. 
So now I'm going to create a button that if pressed will start a task that takes some time. Okay, so let's actually create a function here. So left button command and I'm just going to do something like time dot sleep five like that. And then of course we need to create a button, All right? So here you've got the command and then we need to create the button. So button, button, and then we're going to do something like self main frame text start with 10 height to and command button command all right and of course we need to place it inside a frame so column zero row zero of course so as you can see here i haven't used an instance variable but only a local variable because I don't need to use these variables in other methods if you need them of course you need to use instance variables all right so now we can call the method and we can actually do that down below so we can go down here and we can call it here so my app instance we can call create initial widgets like that but I usually do this in the init method so I actually I don't do this here but I do this here like that right in the init method so this is called as soon as the application starts and of course here instead of this we need to use self like this so now if we actually run the application we see this little start button and if you click on that everything freezes for five seconds and then it starts working again right so now we want to actually create a second page that will be shown after the task has ended and once we've done it we can actually add the loading screen as well all right so let's close this all right so down here we can actually create a new method show results something like that which will actually load the second page so first of all, we want to delete everything from the window and just keep the main frame, okay? And we can do this by looping through all the children of the main frame. And in this case, we just have the bottom, but you might have more widgets, right? So for child in self main frame info children child destroy like this, all right? Then once we've removed all the children, we can actually create a label with the results, okay? I'm keeping this really, really simple because the purpose of the video is not to create a cool graphic user interface, but it is to actually create the loading screen to actually show you how to create that. So once we've removed everything from the application, we can then, as I said, create a label. So results label, it's going to be TK label self. Actually, scroll up a little bit. All right. So self dot main frame bg white background border zero highlight thickness zero and text result which is here. All right. And then of course, as usual, we need to place it using grid zero row zero of course now if you want this to be called after the task let's call it task has ended then we need to actually call this function here we need to call it in here okay so button command and then after five seconds we call self show results here we can place like results all right this is just to show you okay so let's actually try to run this and see what we've got everything freezes all right, and then after five seconds, results, okay? So now, instead of seeing everything blocked, everything frozen, while the task is doing what it needs to do, okay, loading the application or whatever, we want to show the loading GIF. But of course, if Python is performing the task in the background, TKinter cannot refresh the screen and therefore the GIF can't run and be shown. So what we need to do is run the task on a different thread and play the GIF on this main thread, all right? So I'm gonna create a new method called loading. So let's actually do this. Down here, I'm gonna call this method loading self. Then we 
destroy everything. So we need to delete everything from the window. Frame, children. And then we need to create the label for the GIF to run on. Okay, so loading label is going to be TK label self main frame background white border zero highlight thickness zero. Okay, and then same thing down here loading label grid column zero and row zero. Okay. Perfect. So basically what I want to do is I want to have the first screen with a button and then the loading screen with a GIF and then after the task has ended, so basically after five seconds in this case, then I want to see the results. Okay, so I want to be able to actually show something to the user while I'm doing something else on another thread. So now I need to get my frames. So self, I'm gonna call get frames. Okay, and this GIF actually has a white background. As I said in another video, GIFs with transparent background don't work as expected, so the GIF should have the same background as your frame, basically. In this case, I have a white background and the GIF has a white background, okay? And then I'm gonna call, so play label frames. And this should take care of the GIF, but now we need to set up the thread for the task. So let's go up here, button command, all right. So here, instead of running the task directly in this function, we can run it in another function and use this just to start the new thread that will run the task. So I'm just going to create a new function down here, task self, and then here, I'm going to paste this. All right, I've actually created the new method for the task in this case. And up here, we are going to use this command, the button command, which is the function that is called when you click the button to start the thread that will run this. All right, so how can we do this? By the way, I've actually made a video on how to use multi-threading and stuff like that. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. So here we can do something like thread, threading, thread, target, and then self task like this. And then we are going to start it like that. And at the same time, we're also going to call loading. Okay. So basically here, when we click the button, all right, we start a new thread and inside the thread, this is running. Okay, so this function is running inside the thread, inside a different thread. The main thread is actually going to run self-loading, which will show the loading screen. So let's actually try to see what we get. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor and like it, and also subscribe to the channel as well, because I'm gonna post a lot of videos like this one, and you don't want to miss them. So let's go down here, and let's see. All right, so let's actually click Start. As you can see, it's working and after five seconds results but down here we see this error here so everything is working but you see this error here right and it keeps scrolling down 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 as you can see here it keeps creating errors and errors and errors so let's actually stop it right by the way, if you want to support the channel, there are different ways to do that. You can make a one-off donation, become a member of my Patreon, or even use the affiliate links below to get amazing things like professional courses to up your game. You'll find everything in the description down below. And thank you so, so much for the support. So basically, when we want to show the results, we destroy the label in which we are displaying the GIF. So if you watch the other video where I explain you how to actually play the GIF, you should know that to play the GIF, we are actually scheduling events in the future. So what happens is we destroy the label, but then we still have events in the future that are used to change the image of the label. But since the label is not there anymore, then we get the error because basically you're trying to change the image of something that doesn't exist anymore. So in this case, we need to edit the next frame method. So we're going to actually change the code 
in here. So as you can see, even if you have the code that works as expected in most situations, for example, in this case, we have the code to play the GIF that can be used for every program, but sometimes you might need to change it slightly, but I don't think it's a problem because we are programmers, so we actually need to be able to do that. Okay, so let's see how we can change it. So basically, when we try to change the image, we need to actually handle the exception so that when we actually get the error because we don't have the label anymore, we can actually handle it. So down here, instead of having just this code, we can do something like try, and then we try to change the image of the label, then except tk.tcl error, okay, which is the one that we actually get. And here, I'm actually going to print something so you can see what I mean. So print, I'm going to do something like tc error, and then we can actually return, okay. So basically, let's say that we destroy the label and we still have six events scheduled to change the last six frames of the GIF. Then for six times, Python will just return because we are handling the TCL error and we don't get any error, basically. So let's actually try to run it and see what we get. Okay, so... Five seconds. Okay, as you can see, you get this, it keeps running. So you've got a lot of TCL errors. So why do they keep running? So let's actually stop that, All right? So as you can see, there are a lot, right? So basically, when we destroy the label, a cycle of the GIF is still running. And going back to the example I made earlier, let's say that we still have six frames, for example. The frames of that cycle finish, but then a new cycle starts. Up here, as you can see, it starts a new cycle. So basically the code keeps creating events even if the label is not there anymore. This is not a problem because the user wouldn't even notice it because you are handling the exception. So basically without this print TCL error, you wouldn't see anything on the screen, but it doesn't make sense to keep scheduling events if you're not actually doing anything, right? So to actually fix this, we can do something like this. So up here, we can do something like try label config and then accept tk tcl error. And I'm just going to print just to show you. So last tcl error, okay, and then return. So basically, if restart is true, which means that it's time for a new cycle to start, if the label is not there anymore, then the call to label.config is going to throw an error, a TCL error, and we're just going to return, and the code down here wouldn't run, so you don't schedule new events, and everything stops, basically, all right? So let's actually see if that works as expected. So let's run it, start, all right, five seconds, then the errors. So in this case, you still had one, two, three, four, five, six frames, and then the cycle ended, and you get this because you try to restart here, you try to actually call label.config, the label is not there anymore, and then you print this and you return, and you have this application. Of course, here you would have something else. Of course, you can use this whole concept to create loading screens in various scenarios. This is just an example that I think is quite useful. Now on the screen, there is another video about TK in time Python, so go and watch it. Also, don't forget to check out all the links in the description box down below to take your programming skills to the next level. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!